Hey guys, it's Yasin Kucha here, and we're going to do a question that was presented in 2022, and this was known as the impossible GCC mass question. This involved three circles, and they wanted us to work out the shaded blue region. Now, let's read the question first. So, the diagram is made of three circles, each of radius 4 centimeters. The centers of the circles are A, B, and C, such that A, B, C is a straight line, so cutting all the way across. Work out the total area of the two shaded regions. Give your answers in terms of pi. No calculator is allowed. So I'm going to go straight into the solution. But if you guys want to try it first, pause the video and have a go. And let's see what we both get at the end. Okay, so let's move straight into the solutions. So the most important takeaway, guys, is that B is bang in the center of distance A to B and B to C of this circle problem. And if that's the case, we can therefore say that radius A to B and A to, let's say, this intersection point here is also 4 and this intersection point to B will also be 4 therefore we would have an equilateral triangle exactly as you see right here now another thing I want to say is that because we've got an equilateral triangle every single angle is 60 degrees and if this is true every single position from let's say B to C up to this intersection point would also have an equilateral triangle and the same goes below so it look exactly like that so you actually have four equilateral triangles in this problem and that makes it so much easier notice these little parts here if this is a sector you know if you look at a and you go straight to this corner and go around to b we actually have a perfect sector where this position is a segment now let's consider this for a moment yeah let's work out the segment so what i'm going to do i'm going to redraw it over here with the with the necessary values and we can define what the area segment is so the area segment s contains two quantities the first one would be the area of a sector and the second would be the area of a triangle which is both important notice how the second quantity is going to be important for this triangle here yeah, and the other three triangles we're going to actually use that later on guys so this is going to be very important now key figures here so we have a radius which is four that's known we know the angle is 60 degrees a and b are essentially these two lengths four which are radiuses themselves so you can consider this as r squared instead of a b Angle C is essentially the same thing, it's 60 as well. So all of this we have. So plug in all in, it should look a bit like this. Remember, we can't use a calculator, so we can't actually just put this one time in our calculator and get the result. We have to do this step by step. Now the only issue here is we want to work out sine 60. Now to do this, we can just write a uh, standard right angle triangle, which involves 60, 30, and 90 degrees. And we should also know that opposite 30 is, is always a length of one. And if we go 2, then root 3. It'd be like this. This is your standard 60 30 triangle. Now, to evaluate sine 60, we need the opposite. So we can define the opposite of 60 being here, so it would be O, and the hypotenuse, which is 2. So we can say that sine 60 is opposite over hypotenuse, which is root 3 over 2. And that's it. So now we know what sine 60 is. So if you substitute sine 60 back in and then update all the quantities, we, can, we will get something like this. The 4 squared becomes 16, so 16 pi. 60 over 360 reduces to 1, 6. Half times 4 squared, which is half times 16. Half of 16 is 8. And again, root 3 over 2. And then, and then simplifying this further, we get the desired result. 8 pi over 3 minus 4 over 3. Now, one very important thing here, and this will reduce your calculations, is 4 root 3. This is important because we need it for the triangle, so we can pull it to the side. We can call this quantity t. So area of triangle t is 4 root 3. So now we have pretty much everything. All right. So we can say the blue region is just the area of the circle pi r squared minus the sum of the eight segments and the four triangles. So we can we can try and work out a s and 4t. We know what r is. R is 4, so it's just going to be 16 pi. So now to work out 8s and 4t, a s is just 8 times this values over here. So 8 times your segment, which is going to be 64 pi over 3 minus 32 root 3 just times both of these by 8 and then 4 times t is just going to be 4 times 4 root 3 which is 16 root 3 now let's add these together if you add them together your minus 32 root 3 and plus 16 root 3 reduce to minus 16 root 3 and again you still got your 64 pi over 3 we want to convert this because we're using a calculator we want to rewrite 16 pi in terms of a fraction over 3 so this is the same as 48 pi over 3 and opening the bracket you should get something like this now just tidying this up you get literally the final answer guys and i kind of like to go one step further i want to factorize 60 now and yeah 
we are done guys this is the answer